How much of your business is residential versus commercial? Um, in Colorado, about 70 to 80 percent of our business is residential. Okay. And um, the other 20 or so percent would be uh, small commercial and medium commercial. Um, the commercial program in Colorado um, has been slow to take hold for a variety of reasons. One, there's been some uncertainties um, with the rebate program there. The Excel rebate program is, is divided into three categories. Zero to 10 kilowatts is the residential program, essentially. Okay. 10 kilowatts to 100 kilowatts is sort of, sort of that medium commercial level. And then above 100 kilowatts all the way to two megawatts. Power is, station. <laughs> yeah, is, is the large commercial stuff. Yeah. So the small category is um, all the residential stuff pays four dollars and fifty cents a watt upfront rebate. The medium category, which is the commercial stuff, medium commercial, um, pays two dollars a watt upfront rebate, but then pays eleven and a half cents a kilowatt hour for the production of the system over twenty years. And so that's pretty interesting. Um, the numbers get pretty pretty interesting that way. Um, so we're excited that we're about to um, do a couple projects in that category right now, which is exciting for us. Um, and then the large commercial is done by RFP, or Request for Proposal, basically twice a year. Um, and when those come out, you know, those are the you know, megawatt facilities. There's a couple large installations going on in Colorado right now. One at the Colorado Convention Center downtown. Um, there's a 1.8 megawatt facility happening um, in the Belmar neighborhood of Denver. Uh, it's kind of a carport thing. Um, there's also a megawatt, maybe two megawatts at DIA that's going in. Um, so those are all projects sort of in that category. Typically projects in those, those categories, the medium category and the large category are financed through what's called a PPA, or a Power Purchase Agreement, um, which is basically a financing mechanism to uh, pay for the system without the host customer paying anything. So for example, one of the projects we're involved has a PPA, and the host customer pays nothing up front for the system at all, and simply pays for the kilowatt hours that the, the, the system produces. Huh. And so a large financing bank, Morgan Stanley, a Merrill Lynch, a Citigroup, a Goldman Sachs comes in essentially, um, funds the project. And again, the host customer pays zero upfront cost. They just put solar panels on the roof of their building. Um, and then they pay that third party who financed the project uh, a flat rate of the electricity generated uh, for the system. The benefits to that for the host customer are that it fixes their cost of power. So they now know exactly what they're going to pay for their power for this year, next year, That's true. on a 20-year horizon. They have a, they it's always going to be. They have a built-in escalator typically, but they know exactly what the cost will be. Okay. And so the CPAs love that because they're giving them visibility into what their costs are going to be. When energy costs are so uncertain, it's a, it's a, it's a good win for them. So that's one of the mechanisms that's going on right now.